for years, I would go in and I would manually, manually create neural map textures that looked painterly. Now, this is the old way of doing it. And for years, this is exactly how I would create all kinds of painterly effects. And that's the reason why I designed my add-on painterly so people could easily get this amazing painterly effect within minutes super duper quickly compared to the handmade way of doing it by going in and manually slowly inch by inch pixel by pixel painting out the normal map this is the reason why i created painterly texture mode now let's jump right in the tutorial so you can get a grasp on understanding painterly texture mode which is now available on Blender Market and Gumroad if you'd like to purchase it. Hey everybody, my name is Patrick Doherty and today we're going to be talking about how to use Painterly Texture Mode in the Painterly add-on and Blender Kit. Now, if you've never used Blender Kit before, Blender Kit is a free add-on that has a premium paid for kind of tier but we're going to just use the free version, which allows you to get all these kinds of free assets. If you just click free right here, it shows you all of the free assets that are available to you. And you can easily search like graffiti and you can find an amazing library of all kinds of assets. Now we can easily apply the painterly effect on any object that has an image texture directly connected to the color socket, input socket in the principal BSD, BSDF node. If there's any kind of node in between, like let's say some kind of saturation hue node or so, then you might have some problems. So just quickly change it if you ever see that sort of setup. You can just plug directly in the image texture to the color input. Some objects sometimes have that plugged in. So now we have it all set up. Let's just go in and let's go and start to actually process this texture. So this is the interface for the painterly add-on. Let's go into painterly texture mode. And as you can see, we have all kinds of different textures that we can are available to us and that we can use for this object. Now let's make sure to enable color pass. And let's go in and let's hit apply painterly effect on our object. Now, if you look on the bottom left uh, corner of the screen, you'll see that it is actually processing the color pass and now it's processing the normal pass. And after that, it produces kind of painterly effect. It's pretty cool. Let's just change this to uh, GPU. And look at that, it's a pretty cool painterly effect. Now let me show you really quickly what is actually being processed here. Let's take a look at it. So if we go into our uh, shader editor and we actually look at the image textures, we can see that this is the diffuse map that was originally produced on the object. This is the color map. Now this is what's produced from Painterly. It uses the images that are stored inside of the zip file and it produces this null map. So that's the basics of how this mode works. Now let's jump in and let's talk about a more complex object. If you just type in train, you can get this amazing train. And as you can see, this train, if we look at it, it, uh, it is pretty amazing. It's a fantastic train model. And if you look here, it actually has multiple material slots. So let's make sure to select process all material slots. And with that selected, let's go in and let's actually talk a little bit about the different images that we can actually use. So these are all the ones that are designed for the painterly add-on. These are the original ones that I made designed about a year ago or so. And now you can actually use some of the ones that are designed for the stroke pen. So if you want to just throw those in to have more 
variance and variety, you can actually use both of those. But uh, for the purpose of this uh, tutorial, let's just click all here and let's just use all the ones that are designed originally for painterly texture mode. So dynamic strokes, this will give us more variance. This will throw in some random strokes and it'll create more of just kind of that random painterly sort of look. Now let's just click apply painterly effect with our object selected. And now it is going through and is processing every single one of those strokes. Now this may take a while because it is processing multiple materials and it is processing a very, very large color pass and a very large neural map pass. So it can take quite uh, about about five minutes or so to do the entire process. So we're just going to jump right through this and we'll just speed up the process. All right, so it has processed this object, and as you can see, it's done both the color pass as well as the normal map pass. And I think it looks fantastic. It really produces just a really, really nice kind of color pass, so you get sort of the colors mixing into one another. And then on normal map pass, it makes it so that, like, the lighting, the way that is affecting the object, you get these really, really nice sort of blotchy, large paint strokes. And because we use dynamic strokes and we increase that a bit, you get these large sort of random strokes and if you look on the windows like those look really really dang good and it's because of the normal map pass that's producing that uneven lighting so it makes it look really really painterly you can de decrease or increase this effect by just simply selecting the material and then selecting the normal map strength slider and increasing or decreasing that slider will increase or decrease the effect basically of the normal map and I think this looks pretty amazing. You can use this whole technique on a bunch of different objects. Blender Kit is a fantastic tool for getting free objects. These are royalty free and uh, it's a fantastic tool. If you want the tool, it's it, you know available in the description. If you want to purchase Painterly, it is for sale on Gumroad and Blender Market, which is now called Superhive. Thank you guys so much for supporting the add-on and the channel and the work that I do. And I hope that this under helps you understand painterly texture mode just a little bit better. And I will see you guys very, very soon.